sorry. Are you going to work over there then, or? All right, sneaker fam, welcome back to day number 15. Um, and we're getting close to that halfway mark. We'll get the table a little better situated, I guess. Um, so today, video we are going to talk about is, um, some of you guys might know, most of you probably don't, but every Friday, um, my job, I work at a school, Monday through Friday, um, Friday mornings, uh, around 6-ish. Um, a lot of the male faculty, including myself, um, we go play hoops, um, in the morning for about a half hour, 45 minutes. Um, so I had to bust out of basketball. Um, this is my favorite team. This has been my favorite team, the Spurs for a long time. Um, though they have been f hot flame and garbage and I think that they still remain to be so, um, I, I'm assuming, I think they lost to the Lakers the other night. So they're on like an 18 game losing streak, but, um, Wimby is, um, I think going to be the new face of the NBA. Um, the kid's real young. He's only 19. Um, so he's got a lot of, um, growing to do and a lot of learning to do, um, especially when it comes to the NBA game, but, um, things are definitely really looking up for the Spurs, um, because of him. Um, so like I said, we do hoop. Um, so what I try and do is I do grab some actual basketball shoes. Now, granted, uh, I got into an argument with um, a couple of the kids at the school uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, now, granted, again, most retro Jordans are basketball shoes. Um, comment down below if you agree or disagree and why. Um, but always remember, Jordan played in the ones. He played, he played in almost every sing signature shoe um, up to, I guess technically he didn't play in the nines. Um, never played in the nines. I don't believe, um, because that's the nine came out while he was retired and playing baseball. But, um, however, you know, every, every basket, every Jordan was meant to be played in. Um, so now granted, I don't play in those. I, I do not want to destroy my feet. Um, most of my shoes, I don't want to say that they're big, but they fit perfect. Um, now, with these two shoes right here, um, this is the shoe I played in last year. This is the Adidas um, Don Issue 1 um, for, um, from Donovan Mitchell. Um, this was a really, really good basketball shoe. I have zero complaints about this shoe at all. Um, but I did spend the whole um, school year, 2021-2022 school year, no, 22 23 school year playing in these um so i felt like it was time to retire them i also picked these up at an outlet for like 25 bucks um so you man you really can't beat the performance again that's why it's always important for you guys to hit up outlets now that being said i picked these up this year for this season and um this is the mellow two mellow one i don't remember i think this is the one but um, these are absolutely amazing. I definitely feel like these are better to hoop in than these. But again, nothing taking away from these. The, the Don Issue 1 was an amazing shoe. Um, I'm not a huge fan of high tops to hoop in. I don't have weak ankles or anything. But um, so it doesn't bother me to play in like a mid or a low top. Um, these ones... Um, they are they were a little rough at first these were a little stiff for sure um it took a little bit of a breaking in period um to hoop um i'm not the greatest player guys by any stretch in the imagination um i like to go have fun i play as hard as i can um i'm also not a small person so um my outside shot lately has been has led a lot to be desired um but again it's all about having fun building that camaraderie with um teachers and um staff at the school uh so I, that's really more what it's about any 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 of you guys that play team sports it's really more about um going out there having fun and um just being part of a team now like i said these i really like i like playing in these a lot more than i like playing in the um the don issue ones but um 
like I said, the downside to this shoe is that it did take a little bit of a breaking in period. These kind of were like good to go right out of the box. And I, I do go a half size down, so these do run tight. Um, I went down to an 11 and a half in both of these. Um, just because, let me just double check with this one. Yes, both of these are an 11 and a half. Um, but so I downsized just so I know that they're going to fit real snug on my feet and I don't have to worry about my foot slipping them. Like if I wore, I feel like maybe I could wear an 11 to hoop in and I definitely feel like you can hoop in an 11, like right out of the box. But, um, I definitely feel like going down a half a size in some of these shoes. Make sure you try these. If you guys are looking at seriously looking at getting basketball shoes just make sure you go try them on just don't take my word for it because um i feel like maybe the fours i could hoop right in but definitely not the ones i feel like the ones are a little too i don't want to say like sloppy but they're definitely fit a lot looser i feel like than um my fours and elevens and i definitely feel like threes are a little bit loose on me too but um not to go ramble on too much, but these are the shoes that I hoop in. This is the current pair. Again, I played in these last year. So they've just been kind of sitting in the sneaker room. And uh, the Mellows are the pair that um, I've been hooping in um, this this year. And I'll look to do something next year. Um, maybe like a Jordan. Maybe like a 37 or a 38 if the 38s are out by then. Maybe a 37 because they'll be on discounts at um, outlets. I picked this up at an outlet, but then by the it really wasn't on sale. So maybe saved like 10 or $15, maybe maybe 20 But um, if you're serious about hooping, Mellows are the shoe that you want to hoop in for sure. All right. So... Day number 15 in the books, basically halfway through. Um, after Saturday's video, we will be more than halfway through. And uh, I've got them all planned out. I've got them all planned out, and I'm um, super excited about it. Um, also, trying a new microphone. Now, we, I went back to the um, other mic, so I ordered a new one, kind of more of a, like an upgrade. So we'll see how this one goes and how well it does on this video. Let me know in the comment section below how does the wireless microphone sound better over the the um, regular like I don't say like boom mic but um, that's basically what it is. Um, what do you like the difference between the two? Um, I felt like the microphone during the Plato's vlog I feel like it picked up more of my voice and less of the radio because it was kind of loud in there and I know that I've gotten a copyright strike before I guess not even a copyright strike before uh, actually I did because I had to re I had to do voiceover um, for one of those Plato's closets so I feel like this picks up more of my voice and less of the ambient noise so I can't wait to try this in a mall vlog and see how that goes because maybe that's the way to go about doing it is more of my voice less of the ambient noise which means less of the um radio and music that's played in these um especially in the sneaker stores because it is more like up you're up in the club as opposed to in a sneaker store but um i'm rambling um i'll catch you guys on saturday for day number 16 and remember guys these get rocked and it's funny that this video is releasing on Friday because that's the day that we hoop for the most part. Um, so I just found it ironic. Um, so that just popped into my head and now I'm stuck with um, missing my outro. But these get worn every Friday for hoops. So you should always wear your sneakers because remember they're made to be worn. So wear them senior out.